Hey, it's uh, 762 by 39 Klyshnikov doing a review here on the Ruger SR22, my new acquired pistol. Uh, this is the second generation of the SR22 Ruger pistol. Uh, one way of indication to find out is that if you had purchased one and you did receive a bag with a white phoenix with white lettering, that is a newer edition that they put on the uh, second generation, and they also added a uh, metal pin insert into the uh, slide catch where the uh, steel slide catch grabs the slide when it locks back so it doesn't gouge up the aluminum slide um, and another thing that they had changed is the wording it says saying SR22 pistol it says SR22 as you can see this is clear that's why I have it locked back for all you that want to make sure on your own get a good hard look Nothing in the chamber. Alrighty. Nice and clear. Okay, well, some things we'll go over here about how this is different and differs from the uh, other ones. Uh, well, first generation, I should say. Uh, right here where that's catching, there's a, there's a metal pin back here, and I'm going to release this slide to show you. Okay. If you can look back here, in the, on this, I wish I could get a close-up, but my camera might not focus like that. Okay. Right here. You can see that metal pin that's in the side. They put that in there because people were complaining about the aluminum slime being chewed up by that right here, which is a steel, you know, it's a steel slide catch right here so that was chewing up the aluminum so they put a metal steel insert pin there to keep that from happening and as well they also improved the takedown lever from the older one they did some improvements they were having some issues uh, with the older older one um, and like I said this is the Ruger SR22 pistol um, it did come out January 2nd of 2012 um, this pistol is a double or single action pistol of course and um, well first let's go with the safety here the safety as you can see it's uh, kinda weird it's pretty much reversed of any other normal firearm usually you know fire is down and safety is up well safety is down and fire is up but the reason they design it like that is you can see this is a natural decocker. If you want to engage the safety again, you have the luxury of, you know, not having to do it by yourself and it will not set off the round you have in the chamber. And again, I uh, would like to say that this is a double action and single action. This is a 10 uh, in a, oh, actually it's 11 pound trigger in it in its double action form and it's a five pound trigger in its single action so that's a quite a big big difference in between the two of course your initial trigger pull is going to be the double action and there off it's going to be single action um, of course uh, a three dot system right sighting system as you can see maybe I get a side shot on there uh, this is your traditional, uh, you know, this is a rear blade in the front post. Um, this is a very good, uh, you know, traditional. It's a perfect, it uh, has a good enough cut in the uh, serration there so you can uh, get a wide enough view and a good target acquisition. Now, you can switch out this rear blade right here and switch it, turn it reverse so it's all black so you're only actually seeing the white dot in the front. And this is reversible right here. Uh, not reversible, I'm sorry, adjustable. Uh, you can see you need a flat head screwdriver, but this is adjustable for elevation. Uh, this is a polymer uh, frame, uh, you know, aircraft, you know, aerospace grade polymer. Um, same as Glock uses. It has interchange interchangeable. Uh, pretty much rubberized grips uh, and it has of course your serrations and your palm swell this is the bigger of the two the other one has a 
small, uh, smaller swell in the back, so it's not so, uh, you know, drastic on some people. They have smaller hands or bigger hands. And uh, that's also why I chose to use these base plates. Now, the ones that come with them are the flush flat plates, but these, when inserted, they have that extension here. So when you grab it, it actually has a little extra room for your pinky, and that's one of the good things about this firearm. Um, now the uh, like the safety is ambidextrous. I didn't go over that. Let's go over that. The safety is ambidextrous. You can see safety here and a safety here. The uh, magazine release is ambidextrous, as you can see. Either side will release it. So for your left hand, right hand shooters. It'll work for you just as good as it works for me. Yeah, go ahead and remove that. Sorry about the crying. My daughter must be upset about something. My wife must have done something. But you know how children are. But anyways, uh, again, this is, uh, you know, arrows. This is, uh, how do you say it? I say it. Aerospace, aircraft, uh, aluminum, uh, 70, 75 T6. Uh, the same aluminum you find in your AR-15 type firearms. Very high grade aluminum, about the best you can get. So this pistol was well thought of when they made it in terms of quality materials being used. Now the trigger is steel trigger. It is not a cheap polymer trigger. And again, the uh, trigger pull varies depending on single or double stage. These two magazines that come with it are 10 round magazines. Uh, as you can see that in these magazines, the, um, you know, the rounds are double stacked. And uh, this is a uh, blued magazine. Uh, it looks like it might be jammed in there, but they're not. That's just the way it's designed. Um, of course, you have the comfortable thumb follower here. So when you do load it, that kind of, you know, it fits your thumb so it's easier to load so you're not struggling with those little bitty 22 rounds and again it does come with two 10 round magazines um, another thing is uh, this is the length from the tip of the barrel here to the end of this hammer is six and a half inches and also it is uh, the height is I believe a little more than I don't know exactly I think it's a little more than four and a half inches 460 470 something like that uh, and this that is with the flat floor plate now when you put the elongated floor plate which I have it goes over five inches in height um, this does weigh 17 and a half ounces which is a very good and reasonable weight for a pistol um, this is a one in six right hand twist stainless steel barrel now the barrel I believe is three and a half inches long which is pretty good and adequate for you know perfect where you're shooting again one in 16 means that the bullet has one full revolution ever 16 inches so it does not make a quite complete revolution but it is a quite accurate firearm and the barrel is quite heavy and thick for what it is so that's another plus about this now it does have a Picatinny rail on the front. These are full size Picatinny serrations. You don't have the smaller, you know, you know, Gibby ones that you find in the, you know, other pistols. I do one thing I did like. It gives it a good appeal and, you know, a f nice full size Picatinny. So you don't got to worry about problems lighting certain mounting certain lights or lasers. Um, this is black polymer. Uh, this is an uh, I can't. This is a uh, an anodized. Uh, black black anodized um, Now you can use it in California because it's 10 rounds of course and uh, I believe the <clears throat> Like I was saying uh, I believe the Ruger SR uh, 22 MSRP for about 400 bucks When it came out, but you can find it between 320 340 now now that's been out for quite a while um, You know uh, tell you the truth this pistol has been great for me. I've never had a single jam with it and i've had about probably around 500 rounds through it already and i have fed it anywhere between you know ely sport you know arms core ar tactical winchester white box you know golden bullets 
Super X's, you know, Vipers, Yellow Jackets, Auto Match, Federal. Uh, I mean, there's all kinds of 22s I've had, through, and it feeds them fine every time. You know, and you know, for this to feed, you know, the regular, you know, wax lead round those bullets reliably, that's great. It has no issue there whatsoever in terms of reliability. Uh, overall review of this pistol, I give it a, you know, you know, I guess a 9 out of 10, you know. Uh, of course, giving a pistol 10 out of 10 is quite hard. A 9 out of 10 is a great, in, in my opinion. Uh, there's not a single thing that I have ever found wrong with this pistol so far. Uh, maybe in the future, but as of now, everything that this I have gotten out of this pistol has been on par with what I expected it to be. Now, this is... A twenty two, so you know, some people will, you know, it's not a good carry gun. Well this is a light gun and twenty two is good and effective. You know, it's, it's all about shot placement, guys. Central nervous system, hit them in the heart, brain, anywhere disable them, it's gonna work. Uh this is a very well made pistol, reliable, so I would trust my life to it. Yes I would. And twenty two I absolutely. With the right load, no problem, it'll take down a bad guy. Damn right. Let me point this at you and put 10 rounds in your chest. And let me tell, tell me how you feel afterwards. I don't think 